world, I bequeath to you today one little girl in a crispy dress with two blue eyes and a happy laugh that ripples all day long and a batch of light blonde hair that bounces in the sunlight when she runs. I trust you'll treat her well. She's slipping out of the backyard of my heart this morning and skipping off down the street to her first day of school and never again will she be completely mine. Prim and proud, she'll wave up a young and independent hand this morning and say goodbye and walk with little lady steps to the nearby schoolhouse. Gone will be the chattering little hoyden who lived only for play and gone will be the delightful little gamin who roamed the yard like a proud princess with nary a care in her little world. Now she will learn to stand in lines and wait by the alphabet for her name to be called. She will learn to tune her little girl ears for the sound of school bells. Stay in there, come on. <sighs> and deadlines. She will learn to giggle and gossip and to look at the ceiling in a disinterested way when the little boy across the aisle sticks out his tongue. Now she will learn to be jealous and now she will learn how it is to feel hurt inside. And now she'll learn how not to cry. No longer will she have time to sit on the front porch steps on a summer day and watch while an ant scurries across a crack in the sidewalk, or will she have time to pop out of bed with the dawn to kiss lilac blossoms in the morning dew. Now she will worry about important things like grades and what dresses to wear and whose best friend is whose, and now she will worry about the little boy who pulls her hair at recess time and staying after school and which little girls like which little boys and the magic of books and knowledge will soon take the place of the magic of her blocks and dolls. And she'll find her new heroes. For five full years I've been her sage and Santa Claus, her pal and playmate, her parent and friend, and now alas she'll learn to share her worship and adoration with her teachers, which is only right. No longer will her parents be the smartest and greatest in the world. Today when the first school bell rings, She'll learn how it is to be a member of the group with all its privileges and, of course, its disadvantages, too. She'll learn in time that proper young ladies don't laugh out loud or keep frogs in pickle jars in bedrooms or watch ants scurry across the cracks in a summer sidewalk. Today, she'll begin to learn for the first time that all who smile at her are not her friends, that the group can be a demanding mistress, and I'll stand on the porch and watch her start out on the long, long journey to becoming a woman. So world, I bequeath to you today one little girl in a crispy dress with two blue eyes, a happy laugh that ripples all day long, and a batch of light blonde hair that bounces in the sunlight when she runs. I trust you'll treat her well. Thoughts? <laughs> I can't even say them. It's a big day for a lot of reasons. We didn't know she'd ever get here. She must be so proud. Oh my gosh. She is so excited. You know, and she doesn't, she doesn't know everything she overcame. She just knows that's her life, you know? And that she spends part of it at Children's Hospital and she spends part of it at home with us. And to walk her in and tell her goodbye is really hard. You know, you hear a lot of that from the parents of our kids from KS95 for Kids. And yep. you echoed the sentiments of a lot of things we hear when we uh, interview uh, not only the kids but moms and dads. Yep. About, hey, this is just their life. Yeah, they, don't, they don't know what they've had to overcome. Mom and dad know. Right. But, Right. 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 So I mean, it's it's our only child. It's kindergarten on top of all of that. So it's it's big. 